Amazon Linux 2023 was released today. So I spun up an instance and then tried connecting to it through Putty, which I always do. And it was giving me the following error where it was unable to connect to it with the EC2 user user and said that there were no authentication methods available. Normally when this error occurs, it usually means that the user is incorrect or the PPK file which we are using with Putty is incorrect. I made sure both of them were correct, but still I was unable to connect through Putty. In that case, what I did, I launched the VS Code in my Windows machine. And by using the Git bash terminal, I tried the same thing by using his SSH key. And I already had the PEM file. And as you can see in the screen, I used the command SSH-I, then my key, EC2 user, and then the IP address. And it got connected like a charm. There were no issues. So by this, I narrowed it down to the putty and it seemed that I was using an older version of putty and the cipher protocols were old and they were not being matched to the new version of Linux. By the way, it was working fine with Amazon Linux 2, which is a predecessor of this Amazon Linux 2023. So I went to this website and then downloaded the latest version of putty and upgraded my putty. Afterwards, I went to the putty and tried connecting with it and I was able to connect easily. And as you can see right now, I am connected. I'm EC2 user and if I see my operating system, so it is Amazon Linux with a version 2023 and the base is Fedora. Whereas the pretty name is again the full AL 2023 and then so on and so forth. And I have another video where I explain the top features of Amazon Linux 2023 and how it is so security and developer friendly. I hope that this was useful and help you in connecting to this new Amazon Linux 2023. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.